This Kelloland Living segment is sponsored by JJ's Wine, Spirits, and Cigars, an enhanced adult beverage experience in Sioux Falls. What did you want to be when you grew up? A firefighter, a parks and rec supervisor, a singer and dancer? If you said all three, first of all, wow. And second, you have a lot in common with today's across the table guest. I recently sat down with Joey Roder, Levo Credit Union's Vice President of Marketing and Business Development, to find out how he found a future in marketing instead. Thank you so much, Joey, for joining me here today at JJ's. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me. I'm drinking the Tommy Gimlet. And I the Old Fashioned. Cheers. We got some fancy drinks. Mmm. That is tasty. That's really good. I recommend trying either of these if you haven't yet. Absolutely. So, Joey, I wanted to start off by talking about kind of your journey in the business world, leading you to work for Levo Credit. I mean, growing up, is this something you knew you wanted to do? Uh, oddly enough, no, it was not what I thought I would ever be doing. I actually wanted to be a firefighter when I was a kid or possibly a game fish and parks officer. But it all worked out the way it did. We went to, uh, when we went off to college, it was like marketing. That sounds like it would be a lot of fun. And then with the business degree, just you could go pretty much anywhere. So being undecided helped me decide. And where did you go to college? I went to college at Southeast Tech here in town and then finished at Bellevue University after we had kids, decided it was time to go back and get a bachelor's degree as well. So like you said, you know, going into marketing, getting that degree, you can kind of work for a lot of places. Yeah. How did you end up in the world of banking? Yeah. So our second year of college, I started working at Wells Fargo and it felt like the right thing to do. It, initially it was like, yeah, I want to help people. I want to get into the finance world and I felt like I was good at making connections and having good relationships. And that's where it all started for me. And are you from South Dakota? Yes, born and raised in South Dakota. Grew up in Salem, South Dakota. And you went to school around here. Yep. You got your first job around here. Did you yep. ever leave and come back? Never left and come back. Been here the whole time. And I'm assuming it's probably because you love South Dakota. Yes, we do love South Dakota. What is it that you love most about being in the community here in Sioux Falls? Yeah, I think Sioux Falls is just a big small town and I just absolutely love the people that are here. You just don't get it like that. And we've been to other big cities and it's just, I don't know, it's just different in Sioux Falls. People are caring, they, they want to believe in other people, they want to see other people succeed. Uh, business owners to, you name it, everybody is just in it for the same cause. And, and we all really care about giving back to our communities, which is another big part of why we just love it here. What would you say is the biggest piece of advice you've ever been given? Wow, uh, be patient. Be patient would probably be the biggest piece of advice I've ever gotten. Uh, be patient, believe in yourself, and take the opportunities when the opportunities are there. Well, let's get to know a little bit more about you. When it comes to your hobbies and when okay. you're doing things outside of the office, what do you like to do? Yes. Uh, my wife Jackie and I, we spend a lot of time outdoors, playing golf, traveling back and forth across the state. We do a lot of hunting. Um, we spend a lot of time out in the Black Hills. That would be the one place that if we were ever to relocate, we love South Dakota, we love the Midwest, but the Black Hills, we enjoy our time out there a lot and just enjoy driving around on the Ranger, being with the girls, checking out the wildlife, playing golf. So tell me a little bit more about your family and the girls. I mean, do they hunt with you? Yes, actually all of us. We have, Jackie and I have been married for coming up on 17 years. We have two young daughters. One's a freshman and one is a fifth grader. Both of them hunt with us. Both of us love being outdoors with us. So we spend a lot of time together, which is great. And what kind of hunting do you do? Kind of all over the board. Do a lot of upland hunting with my brothers and my brothers-in-law and my dad and my father-in-law. And then we also do a lot of deer hunting together as a family with Jackie and I and Macy and Haley. Back and forth across the state, we hunt out on West River by Nislin, South Dakota and the Black Hills and then back home where we grew up in Salem. So let's talk a little bit about what motivates you. Yeah, um, I think just seeing people succeed motivates me more than anything. I want to be there to help people. I want to be the leader that I know I can be and that my parents raised me to be. So if, we're, if I have anything that I can do around here, it's definitely to help people see them through to succeed. Who would you say is your biggest hero? Oh man, I would have to say my parents. Uh, looking back, raising three boys and still loving each other and making it through all that and now being parents of our own, uh, I think every parent is a superhero. So you grew up with two brothers. It was 
Kind of boys running the household. Oh, yeah, definitely. I was the youngest of three boys, so I was not the favorite child, if they ask. Uh, but yes, I was raised with three or two older brothers. We had a lot of fun. I got beat up a lot, but. I thought the baby that. of the family was always the favorite, uh, or at least sure. one of the favorites, for right? For sure. Right? Yeah. But if they ask, it's yeah, no, I'm not right. the favorite. Exactly. So when it comes to, you know, living your life, doing everything you've ever dreamed of, is there anything that you are? Like, what's your biggest fear? Fear. I think my biggest fear is letting family down. I would never want to let my wife and girls down. We have a lot of goals and aspirations in life that we want to achieve, and we're definitely going to see that through, and I just don't want to let them down. So it seems like you are a big family person. I mean, you look up to your parents for raising kids, and now you're doing it yourself, and you admire them for what they did for all of you. Yeah. When it comes to being a dad, what is your biggest goal? My biggest goal, I think, is just to raise good kids. Like, just be good people. Be nice to people. Be a good sister to each other. Be good friends. And really good Christians. Grow up and be good stewards of society. If you were to interview someone on a late night talk show, who would you interview and why? John Wayne. Why is for that? For sure. I, I love the John Wayne movies. That's kind of a secret, I guess. But I love John Wayne movies, love the old westerns. And I think he was just one of those guys that always was a straight shooter. He said it how it was, and he held nothing back. He was very candid. And I admire that in somebody that's just honest and upfront. What is one thing, like a fun fact or something, that people in Kellyan don't know about you? I was a four-year letter earner in high school of show choir. Not really? Not too many people know that. Yeah. Yeah, so can you story. sing for us? Oh, you don't want to hear me sing. <laughs> Apparently you're good at it if no, you're a four-year letter. No, no. It was a lot of fun. That is a very fun fact. Yeah. I did not expect that, but that's awesome. Good for you. Thanks. Do you still sing and do anything with that? Um, secretly, behind closed doors. In the shower? Sing, lots, yeah. yeah in the car, back and forth, yeah. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for joining me here today. It was a pleasure getting to know you. Yes, absolutely. Thanks for having me. Cheers. Cheers. At JJ's, they like to say they provide an enhanced adult beverage experience, and we think that's just perfect to sum up the great food and drinks and the great people you'll run into at JJ's Wine, Spirits, and Cigars. They're located at 3000 West 57th Street in Sioux Falls. You can find out more about their specials and events by checking out their website at jjswine.com. Need a place to throw a party? JJ's Wine, Spirits, and Cigars can host small to medium-sized events right on their ground. They also have a private event room which can fit as many as 72 people seated. They can provide tables, chairs, and linens as well as a variety of beverage service packages. All of JJ's event venues offer great flexibility on your food and beverage choices. If you've got an event planned for the summer, check out the options on JJ's website. This Kelloland Living segment has been sponsored by JJ's Wine, Spirits, and Cigars, an enhanced adult beverage experience in Sioux Falls.